my hair is still wet. This is what happens when you do a video right when you get out of the shower. This is a video replied to uh, Pogobat's Rand Paul filibuster video. I basically have two points that, that I really want to make uh, on this video. And first of all, uh, Dan Brown, you are completely wrong on the flat tax. I'm going to tell you something that's going to blow your mind. Rand Paul's flat tax is more progressive than the tax we have now. What you were saying about how the rich take advantage of the government and, and spend their money to get themselves more tax breaks, it's true. And that's therefore we actually have a very regressive tax system right now. And an actual flat tax with no exceptions, it would be more prog progressive because because the rich would pay, actually pay taxes. I'll give you an example. Honeywell, from 2009 to 2010, did not only not pay any federal income tax at all, they received a $510 million tax refund from the IRS, even though they had a profit in the US of over $3 billion. Now, if we were to just set up a flat tax where everybody, corporations, people and stuff, would actually pay uh, a certain amount, no exceptions, no nothing, you, they would actually have to pay taxes. Put a link in the doobly doo to these facts, and when you present that, that a flax tax is all wrong and stuff, but you miss the point of getting rid of all these stupid deductions. There have been, um, I forget the number, it's like over 200 uh, uh, changes in the tax code in the past year. And those revisions really have helped no one but the rich. Now, if we implement a flat tax with a bottom, say $30,000, put it tied to the poverty line. So, so if you make the poverty line, you don't pay any taxes. Every dollar you make above that, you pay taxes for. And then you combine that with a provision that um, no tax loopholes or tax write-offs can be added to this thing ever by unless unless there's a you know i'm trying to think of a way to do this so congress would obey it but it would be have to be on a separate bill by itself so they couldn't put tax a rider to the nda which is what they do all the time but if we did that, we would have a much more progressive tax system than we have right now. Point two. Now, Dan, this is a more personal note to you, yourself. I understand what you're trying to do here. You're trying to have a conversation. But when you demean and put down and do not accept the legitimacy of other people's opinions, you are never going to convince them that you're right. If you want to have an echo chamber to your own beliefs, to your own rhetoric, uh, keep keep putting down your opponents. Keep keep just insulting them instead of trying to make points to convince them that you're right. It is the biggest problem with our the way we do things right now, way way the big media works, is that that you have two sides attacking each other, not really on the issues, just on personality and how they hate the other side. You can't win a conversation by saying you are just wrong and evil and run by a corporation and, and dumb. And that's what, what you've called people in a few videos, especially this last one. Just like I presented in, with the flat tax. If you just dismiss it out of hand, you, you miss an opportunity to convince somebody about the overall objectives that both sides actually agree with. And, and I guess that's my point. I had, uh, and um, there's there's a bunch of footsteps going on upstairs, so I'm I'm gonna cut this off here. Uh, thanks, Dan. Can't wait to hear your reply.